I wanted to do something kind of different with this. I wanted to rate uh, movie posters I thought would be kind of fun and put them on a tier list. So being the prepared streamer slash YouTuber that I am, I have created such tier lists. So we have these different tiers. I wanted to kind of kind of go through them a little bit uh just so i'm not leaving you guys in the dark about what tier means what i'm sure you can guess that the highest tier is obviously the best gonna be the best movie posters and then the bottom is absolute lunacy like it says i don't know what they were thinking they like threw their six-year-old in photoshop told them to go nuts we're gonna start top down so first one we have is the cream of the crop these are the Mmm, chef's kiss movie posters. These belong to special people who have done incredible things with movie posters. Enough said on that one. Now, the second one is good job. You, you did a good thing and you know, you should be recognized for that. It's not quite the the top tier cream of the crop ones, but you're getting there. You're getting there. You know, you're riding that line between a B and an A. And then this third one, which might have a little more explaining to do is better than a floating head. Now, if you don't know what a floating head is, I will actually uh, show you here. St stuff like this. The, this is a floating head. Once you realize it, you can't unsee it. It's like Hollywood is obsessed with making floating head movie posters. And I don't think they really look that good. Like you're gonna tell me something like this looks decent, something like this. I don't know. I don't think so. So that's for stuff that's better than a floating head. So we're still doing decent. You know, this is probably like B to C range right here. Behind that, we have the old college try. You know, you went to a few lectures, you did some of the homework, you accidentally missed a test, but that's all right. The last month and a half of the semester, you're just giving it your best try, you know? You're probably still only going to half to three quarters of the classes, but you're giving it that old college try. And I think that translates to most things, including movie posters. Then even below that, down into the depths of hell, we have good enough for government work, which in my opinion is a step lower than giving it the old college try because college kids are still young. They got that that youthful them spark them. in them that drives them to hopefully finish college and get a degree and a nice paying job. That's kind of why they're giving it the old college try, you know? They're still at least working towards something with some sort of pep in their steps, some sort of unyielding passion for whatever it is they're going into, and they're doing it for the betterment of their future selves. Now, good enough for government work. These people are already well past their spring chicken days and well for the most they're part. They're just trying to do their day to day, nine to five, you know, get in, do the job, come back home, don't have to worry about a thing. So they're just there to do whatever it is. They're there. They don't get paid to care. So that pretty much sums up that one. And then we have the absolute lunacy category, which I kind of touched on just a smidgen there before. This is a special category for those people who seem to go off the grid. They went AWOL, you know, they turned on their own team with this one and the movie poster is just absolutely horrendous. This like, can make or break the movie and how much they make in a box office. So without further ado, I have right here is a random movie pick. Now, I found this about 10 minutes ago before stream and I thought what better tool to use to find random movies. I didn't want to be that guy who just searched up best movie posters of all time and stick then stick them in the first three categories because everybody agrees with that. No, no, I wanted to have my own opinion. That's why I just got this random movie picker because then it wouldn't sway my vote and I could have more, more of a judicial review on this. Like I'm in the, oh, what's it called? I forget what it's called. The, <laughs> with, with the judges. I don't know why I can't think of if it. If you're American, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna keep going uh, past that thought. We're just gonna leave that in the dust on the road to die and 
we're gonna get on with our lives with our first few movies. I feel like 16's a lot. We'll go with eight. We'll have I'm that. not gonna choose a genre. It can be any genre. I don't really care. And then every year between when the dinosaurs were incepted and now. Let's see what we got here. Sabotage. Okay. Okay. Not a terrible poster. It's not a floating head. It, it's all right. I'd say it's about middle of the road. Zombieland is like right there with it to steal this bad boy. It's not horrible. It's not the best. Honestly, I'm going to give it the old college try. You know, because it looks like they kind of tried. They didn't do like a uh, floating head. So I'm happy about that. But there's not really much to it. And same with Zombieland. All right. Our first movies down there. The Promise. Now this this is definitely a floating head. <laughs> I don't know what to think about that. Really not a whole lot going on here. See, it's just like a bunch of white here and then they have some ribbons, which I've never seen this movie, so I don't know if that really pertains to the movie at all. I assume the ribbons don't cast a major role <laughs> in this. Three characters and two people hugging, can't even see who they're hugging this one will have to be good enough for government work good kill what do we think i mean it's not a floating head that's for sure i think it's got kind of a unique style here it's got a blossoming city right here with a dude uh just trying to get by and then we have a blown up dilapidated ground zero city here with a giant explosion is that? Either way, I think they definitely did more than the old college try here. We're gonna stick it in better than a floating head. I think that is quite fitting. Bone Tomahawk. This one has a huge floating head on it, which is the main focus of this movie poster. It's where my eyes are leading me. The horse is back down in here. Like you have some characters, but you can't really see who they are. I assume this leading one here is this dude right here. It's like a close up of the same picture here. Text is pretty basic. I'll give it the old college try. Still no bangers though. No, nothing to really knock my socks off, which I'm a little sad about. Star Trek Beyond. This one isn't looking too good. It's just another floating head one. Not a huge fan. You got three floating heads here. You got the, the basic font there for Star Trek and then just a bunch of lasers or whatever coming down. They're being warped up to shit. I can't really defend this one very much, so it's gonna have to go in the good enough for government work category. I don't think they really put a whole lot of thought into that one. Mississippi Grind. This one has some actual action as opposed to all the other ones. I think this one might be our highest rated one yet. You got no floating heads. You got the, the text right here beautifully placed. I mean, it's like right there. It looks like it's part of the actual table there. That's a decent movie poster. You know, he he's like, oh shit, what's he gonna roll? And then you got the, the dice right here, kind of in frame, but a little out of focus, it's a little out of focus. Then you have this guy doing, doing the old, the old flip of the dice right there, if you know what I mean. They're definitely gonna win some big money there. So I'll, I'll give, I'll give that one a good thumbs up. That was a good job on Mississippi Grind. The Black Coat's Daughter. I'm thinking it's like two floating heads meshed into one. I don't know. I, I really don't know about this one. I'm feeling the old college try on this one, but it's definitely better than this stuff here because they actually put like a little bit of effort into it. Also, if anyone has any suggestions on a movie poster, feel free to let me know. I'm just doing the randomizer, but always open to suggestions. All right, we already got that one, but all of these ones are brand spanking new straight out of the package. So the score, there's a little bit going on here with this laser beam person falling down. I don't really know what that's supposed to signify to get extra points for falling down this hole. There are just like two random guys here, blurred out background, good enough for government work. I will give them props though for the little thing here. I think that's pretty cool, but honestly, it's not, it's not that great. It's not knocking my socks off. I'm not kicking back in my chair, gasping for air at it. Don't tell mom. Babysitters dead. We definitely have a lot of Photoshop going. It's not a horrible Photoshop job. You do have 
some people in the background here can't see them too well. Honestly, this might be better than a floating head. I might have to put it there. The people back there are obviously photoshopped together, but they're not like photoshopped onto any bodies or anything. The feet are okay ish i'll give it better than a floating head just because i don't see like anything super wrong with it what else do we have here detachment okay a little different from the rest we got a golden egg maybe all right let's put our analysis skills to use got some knocked over things around here like a like a school classroom i do like how the text for the movie is like written in chalk on the chalkboard. I think that is a very nice addition. And then him sitting there doesn't have a care in the world about whatever the hell just rampaged through his room. This looks like after um, in the Amazing Spider-Man when <clears throat> Peter and the lizard were like rampaging through the school fighting each other and they went into the room with Stan Lee who's a librarian and they're just knocking everything over. This is what this reminds me of. Like this guy is Stan Lee. He doesn't really care what's going on. Not bad, not bad. I'll, I'll give it a good job. I'll give it a good job. It's definitely different and I think it deserves props for that. Heartbreakers, really not a whole lot going on here. The girl in the black dress, it looks like her face is photoshopped on the body. Th this one will have to be good enough for government work. Solo, a Star Wars story. And also, I forgot to mention, movies often have different posters and so some posters are 10 times better than other ones. Like, I know uh, Solo has many different posters than this. Same with Zombieland and I'm sure a lot of these have like different versions but i'm just going off the ones that i see first because i know solo does have a movie poster that is a giant floating head and so that one would get a pretty low ranking for me it doesn't look that bad i kind of like how they're all the same color palette as this background here although there's like characters back here that really aren't needed they're just kind of filler space i'm probably gonna go with better than a floating head on this one okay we have the irish men irish man actually my apologies I, i'm gonna take a water break and really really breathe kind of gulp down this uh poster here not really much going on in the background they definitely didn't really fuck around with that too much that's not really the main focus from what it seems. I would probably put it over solo. I'm gonna put it in the same category because I don't think it's quite on the level of the creativity they did for Mississippi Grind and Detachment. The Terminal. So I can already tell this one isn't a floating head. I, I do like the little addition there of the plane as the eye. So, you know, I immediately, you know, kind of determined that He's flying somewhere. <laughs> That's my expert analysis. He's definitely flying somewhere and, you know, meeting different people. This one just seems like the old college try to me. Spider-Man 2, ho ho ho. I think this is a really good movie poster. You know, it's, it's not really a floating head. There's some action going on here. You know, he's defending her, doing whatever. I don't really no but there's the city back here uh sunset you can see i think it's doc ock i think you can see in this goggle there she's kind of clutching onto him so let me give this one a good job even though they didn't do anything crazy with the title the actual picture says a lot i'll give that one a good job a big old thumbs up of approval okay the belco experiment i think this is the movie where they actually like lock people in the office and then i think it's like a hundred people and it's uh hunger games or like PUBG, you have to be the last one standing. Honestly, not bad though. I kind of want to put it with good job. It's not a floating head. They did something kind of cool here with the title. Not, not crazy, not Mississippi grinder detachment level, but they did do something kind of interesting here. I don't know how to explain it. The text just says office to me. There is some action going on. I like a little bit of action, not like these down here kind of action. If, if I look at this, I can see 
the motion like he's moving down busting some skulls i assume yo put it with good job it chapter two what are we thinking i think better than a floating head because it does kind of call back to the first movie with the balloons and he's kind of smiling through it does kind of seem like he's a floating head i can't really tell but the addition of the balloons definitely help his case Stick them in there. Aftermath. I can already tell this one's not gonna go well. All right, so we got a definite floating head here with two planes with jet streams behind them. Gonna blow up Aftermath right on his cheekbone. And then we just have like sand and shit. I don't know, are those like clouds? And then just like his big head right in the middle. So it, it might be our first absolute loser it's going in absolute lunacy all right ghostbusters 1984 and honestly i don't think i have to talk too much about this one it's pretty unique i would say like it says what the movie entails it might be a good job one yeah i i think i'm gonna go with good job just because i don't know there's something missing to it the pizzazz isn't there the chef's kiss isn't screaming at me. Now we have American Gangster. I'm not super impressed. It doesn't jump out at me very much. It's gonna have to get the old college try. It's just a guy in a black and white suit with a black background and then the words. You know, you, you guys were lucky you dodged the good enough for government work one because that, that seemed like some low shit there. <laughs> Silver Bullet. It is kind of interesting. It has like a floating head here and here half of silver and half of bullet are like almost white they're silverish white the front half are like they're more gray than white and so yeah this is this is lunacy this is an absolute lunacy one man band i'm not sure what they're going for here but it's not horrible it's not horrible i i'm gonna give it better than a floating head it's about on par with it i would say tales of halloween this one actually looks really sick okay okay they that's actually really cool they made like a kind of skull devil face out of this tree and through to the moon and then some I, are those people that's pretty cool actually you know what that's definitely a cream of the crop level movie poster there was a lot of thought that went into that one so i'll give them good props for that that seems like a really cool movie poster okay and we have the tournament Th this one just sucks this one actually sucks there's someone doing like the the dual pistol pew 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 thing right there right and then they have like three people doing youtube thumbnail faces like doing that across the gun and then like buildings and stuff here oh that's awful that's lunacy moving on <laughs> stronger not a whole lot going on it's called stronger it looks like he's got he's an amputee he's maybe got a prosthetic down there you can't really see down there but it doesn't look too bad i'm gonna give it a nice good job because it's nice and simple it's not a floating head there's not too much going on the picture clearly translates to the title sword of destiny oh crouching tiger hidden dragon that's like the series <clears throat> and this one's the Sword of Destiny. Let's see what's going on in the Sword of Destiny world. So we got a girl in an open area. Can't even see the landscape that much. It's just all cloud. The horizon's down here. Then she's maybe in like a kimono or like casual sweats. And then a sword back here. Don't even know how the sword is attached. Maybe there's, maybe it's like a shoulder sling, but it's better than a floating head, but it's like they put in less effort than the floating head so it, it's going in the government good enough for government work constantine oh baby look at this one this one looks pretty sick <laughs> oh oh <laughs> there's like an angel there i thought those wings were like attached to him okay so there's an angel there with the words across the angel and he's down there with like a cross or like it almost looks like a gun in the shape of a cross it, this one looks like the old college try to me and material girls i i can't even tell what that says 
Really? This thing is a floating head living vicariously through this movie poster, and it kind of upsets me that they would even try something like that. So just for that, it, it's going to be an absolute lunacy. Just because they put a floating head on a movie poster inside a moving poster and that feels very disrespectful to me. I feel like this is a decent, a decent lineup. I might actually do a little bit of changing and it might rustle some feathers, but I feel like these are definitely like cream of the crop level movie posters. I think this is a decent list for what movies we saw. I had the competition, or not the competition, I had the bar set pretty high, I feel like, when doing Mississippi Grind and Detachment. I, I think they deserve to be up there with Tales of Halloween, because they are good movie posters. But yeah, I feel like this is a pretty decent list that I've come up with. <laughs>